Hi everyone. Um, so this is uh, how you can download herbs. Download it from our GitHub page or download it as a zip folder or also use uh, pip install. And the GitHub link is pinned to the chat the Slack channel for trajectory planning. Uh, and we also have a cookbook, um, which uh, is quite extensive, and tutorials, uh, which is segregated in different um, folders. If it is Atlas related or uh, probe related, you can read into um, the documents here. So once you have downloaded your atlas. You can download either a rat, Waxum Rat Atlas or a, a Allen Mice Atlas, and you can choose your um, um, uh, what um, uh, what uh, uh, micrometer slice you want. Um, yes, and then once that has been processed. You can click on the Atlas uh, uh, icon and you will have your Atlas loaded. Uh, you can toggle between coronal, sagittal, or the horizontal section and use the sl uh, slider here to go between different sections of the slide, uh, different sections of the Atlas. And if you use your mouse uh, to go uh, on the Atlas brain, you can see on the left corner, you will find, um, you will find uh, the AP, uh, dorsal ventral, pregma, and uh, the areas that you're actually moving through with the, po uh, the mouse pointer. So going back to the coronal section, choose any, uh, the desired section that you want, and you can you uh, you can find which uh, AP coordinates that you want to use uh, for trajectory planning. Just um, to give a brief caution, there there is error in getting desired region, and variability occurs inevitably. So trajectory planning in three D space, especially in three D atlases, helps a lot um, and I've personally gained a lot for, uh, for my surgeries and it is also efficient since there are thousands of neurons that you record especially if you're using neuropixel probes and plan trajectory uh, either using herbs or pinpoint or neuropixel trajectory explorer you can facilitate uh, best coverage for probe channels as well as in the long run it will just make it easier for interpretation of the data that you collect. So once you have uh, selected the region, uh, for example, here you can see now, once you click the boundaries, you can see where you are in uh, 2D space of the Atlas. And once you reach your desired um, AP, AP ML coordinates, you can then uh, also go back to uh, go to the um, segment view controller and also color coded if you want to remove the colors you can then click on like you have drop down menus here that you can click on and then decolor it and uh, use the ones that you want you can then select the probe marker uh, that's on the top uh, column. You can select the color of the probe. I'm going to show you how today how to do uh, trajectory planning for NeuroPixel 2.0 because NeuroPixel 2. Uh, NeuroPixel 1.0, the trajectory planner is already uh, uh, the video is already uploaded on our GitHub page, so you can go uh, see how that's done there. Uh, you can also toggle and play around with the opacity of the colors that you prefer to have uh, over your boundaries and, and uh, different regions of the brain. And once you've done that, you can select uh, 2.0 and select the multi-shank option. 
And then you can also use uh, how you want your channels to be facing in, out, left or right, depending on uh, with what what's suitable for your own. And click and then pull down. So right now I'm pulling down from retrospenial to so deep layers of superior colliculus. And let's say um, once I've done that, I've added the probes and then merged all the probes together. And suppose you want to have two uh, probes that you want to uh, insert, then you can uh, do that as well. Just choose another one and do the same thing. Click merge all the probes. And now you can rename the probes as you want. And if you click on the probe, you can use this information button to read about um, at what angle uh, the insertion of the probe is done, the length of the probe that's inside the brain, the depth uh, and the regions of the probes that it's uh, the trajectory is going through, uh, an estimated uh, channel size and the length of uh, the probe that's um, there in each region. So this is an example for one sink in um, uh, the NeuroPixel 2, but in NeuroPixel 2, we have four shanks. So how, if you want to visualize all the four shanks together, what you would do is you would uh, untie these um, ropes and then use these compare multiple linked uh, objects together, and then you can visualize all together how um, the shanks look like uh, in your planned trajectory. And you can then proceed to see this in 3D. If you go up here to the 3D uh, window, and then you can see how it looks in 3D space. You can use your mouse scroller to go or to minimize or maximize the screen. You use the view to whether if you want a dark mode, a light mode, and then uh, remove the axes and the planes. And also you can not visualize by Uh, clicking on the eye uh, icon, you can change the color of the probes. So suppose you have two probes going in, you can then make um, one of the uh, uh, the shanks of one of the probes uh, in one color and the shanks of other. I mean, this is just plain aesthetics at this point. And then also increase the size and width of uh, the probe just for the sake of the visualization. And herbs uh, is in development. Um, so if you have any issues, please use the issues um, or open a discussion using the link that is pinned on the Slack channel. Um, yeah. And we have all feature in probes. So this is just uh, showing you can load a slice from, for example, if you're using uh, an old uh, rat uh, atlas book, for example, Paxinos, you can load this slice if you have the PDF of it and also do the trajectory planning uh, using the same steps, click on the probe marker. Or if you're using uh, silicon probes or tetrodes, you can also use uh, this option that's there and set what your probe uh, and you can customize it as you uh, prefer. Thank you very much.